Hello, I'm Jussi Adler Olsen, the author of Journal 64, known as Guilt in UK, and you are watching Book Zone. Your father was a psychiatrist, so you grew up in various mental homes. How did that affect, or how did that give you a training to become a writer? Uh, I was brought up with uh, people with heavily diseases, schizophrenics, psychopaths, murderers, rapists, people depressed like you can't imagine. And my father, he learned me uh, that I ought to know that those people actually were like me when I was a kid, when they were kids. Why are crime thrillers such a dominant genre in Danish and Scandinavian literature and why indeed did you choose to write crime? I don't think it's dominant in Scandinavian literature at all. Uh, we are a few and a few uh, sort of good ones. Uh, we are writing Scandinavian literature with crime aspects and thriller elements about the social topics and, you know, political topics, mixing them, blending them into the good old tricks of Hitchcock and uh, good old English crime uh, literature. Why did I choose this genre? Well, of course, because this genre gives you the possibility of doing whatever you like. Not the crime stories. This is about solving a crime and that's it. But the thriller stories about preventing a crime to happen in the end gives you the opportunity of writing about whatever you like. And uh, that's what I need when I'm writing, to be free. Now, you've written or you've published five books in the Department Q series. Mm. For the uninitiated, what is Department Q and who is Karl Merck? Well, Karl Merck is a guy that actually wanted to be sacked. He, he longs for being kicked out of the force because, yeah, throughout the years he, he became fed up with it. And not only fed up, but also a little uh, scared about what can happen in the end. He don't mind that people don't like him in the, in the police yard and for that reason puts him in the cellar, uh, giving him a new, you know, a small department, his, his department and two, two helpers. And um, because of his uh, anarchistic ways of doing the stuff, uh, he can take up any case in any aspect, uh, in any region of, of Denmark, and that's not really possible. But they allow him to do that, sort of cold cases. The fourth book, Journal 64, is being published in the UK as Guilt. Tell us about that book. Uh, well, it's about a woman who, who was placed on an island in the middle of Denmark uh, where women who were uh, promiscuous, uh, they were placed there because of their promiscuity. They were put on an island and there they had to stay for the rest of their life without a sentence, uh, without knowing what to happen if they weren't sterilized. If they were sterilized, they could get come away from that island. That was a misuse of power, right? Uh, and especially the doctor's power. There on this island, one woman lives, Nita, and she's my main character. And she, in 61, she's one of those coming away, but serialized from the island. And now revenge is the main theme. Her revenge upon the persons who actually put it her there. The Keeper of Lost Causes was uh, based on, I think, the first of the Department Q books and it was made into uh, a movie last year yes. in Danish. Mm -hmm. um, is Hollywood knocking on your door? Oh my God. <clears throat> yes, 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 and yes, yes. Uh, we had offers from all of them, you know, the top ten, they were there, all of them. Asking for making movies in English about this. Q series. And I'm not going to say yes. Why? I'm going to do better for me television season based series upon Department Q. Any idea who will play Karl Merck? No, but I could point a, 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 a lot of person could do it. Who? Oh, from Nicholas Cage to George Clooney, you know, but how old will they be? How, how free are they? 
uh, or the, in Britain and also in in U UK uh, in in the United States, you have so many good actors. So you know, it's it's like, and and this will be interesting for for actors, I'm sure. You see, Adler Olsen, thank you very much indeed for joining me. Thank you, Leon. It was very nice. I love books.